Stop number 36 on the Castle GTX Cup Series brings us to North Wilkesboro Speedway and it's the running of the Tyson Holly Farms 400 and the season getting down to the nitty gritty here in this in this series and we saw what was the a great points battle turn into a well almost a runaway just about as of right now at the moment but um, usually race 36 would be the last race of my season but uh, because I extended it to the 40 races, well, we're doing it, we're going all the way to 40, so that's <laughs> how I'm doing it. <clears throat> but we are here at North Wilkesboro with the Tyson Hall Farms 400, and let's get the starting lineup for today's running of this event underway. On the pole for the second race in a row, believe it or not, he won the pole at Martinsville, still looking for that first win, it's Kev Shearer, the number 32 tied Pontiac, on the pole for today's event. He'll be alongside the number 24 DuPont Chevrolet, Charles Sanford. He was second the last visit uh, when he was last here in um, the first of the year. Sanford also a three-time winner this season and second in points. Trent Dunham, the number one Bass Pro Shops Chevy Impala, has the inside of the second row. He won the season at Darlington in the Southern 500. He is currently sitting 19th in the standings. And beside him, the championship leader, Jessica Shelton, the number nine Dodge Dealers Dodge. She won in the season at the first race at Martinsville. Row number three has Kyle Matthews, the number 42 Melly Yellow Pontiac. A whole lot better than where he was starting the last time he was hit North Wilkesboro. Uh, Matthews won three times in the season at Pocono, Indy, and Watkins Glen. And since right now, fifth in the standings at the moment, he dropped back after the horrible outing at Martinsville. Alongside of him is the Texas winner, Dalton Day, the number 20 Home Depot Pontiac. Row 4 has Dylan Young. He won a season Food City 500 in Bristol, the Miller Genuine Draft Ford, car number 2. And beside him, Levi McIntyre. He was a winner this season at Kansas, the XI Batteries SKF Ford. Then it's Joshua Coward, three-time winner this season at California, uh, Riverside, and at Chicagoland, the 43 STP Dodge. Beside him, the number 10 tied for it, going for the North going for the North Wilkesboro sweep. It's Joshua Osborne, the number 10 tied Ford. And that car will be returned next season as well. Dylan Poteet, two-time winner of the season, the number 22 Caterpillar Dodge. He won a season at the second Richmond event and also the first race at Michigan this season. And he's alongside the Rockingham winner, Nicholas Romero and Hayes Modems Ford. Then it's Jesse Turner, number 17, Western Auto Chevrolet. Had a great run the last time we was here at North Wilkesboro. And he'll be alongside Johnny Gardner, number 28, Texaco Haviland Ford. Then it's Ryan George, number 30, Pennzoil Pontiac, the winner of the All-Star at Charlotte. And beside him, the winner at the 500 mile at Charlotte this season, it's Seth Cole, the number 13, Geico Chevrolet for Internet CRA Motorsports. Then it's Zach Rogers, the number three GM Goodrich Chevrolet, and alongside, and alongside of him, the number 30, 33 Skull Bandit Chevrolet. The winner of the last stop of the tour at Martinsville, it is Zach Flickinger. He's on the outside. Flickinger currently third in the points chase coming in. Then it's Noah Cars, number 44 Hot Wheels Pontiac, and beside him, the number 12 Altel Dodge, of two-time winner of the season at Talladega and at the race at the 400 at Daytona. The first Talladega event, I might add. It's JT Bryant. Then it's Corey Williams, the winner at New Hampshire this season, the Lowe's Chevrolet, car number 31, and beside him, the winner at South Boston this season, and a tremendous finish over there, it is Joseph Romero, the Goodwrench Service Chevrolet, car 29. Let's get the command to fire the engines here at North Wilkesboro. Gentlemen! Party engines. We can start racing here today. Jessica Shelton comes in this race the points leader with Charles Sanford, 30 points behind in second. Then Flickinger, a uh, great battle for third in the points between J Zach Flickinger and Joshua Collar. They are four points separating the two at this moment. Well, the field rounding through turns three and four. A Pontiac and Chevrolet leads the field down. Charles Sanford started second the last time he was hit North Wilkesboro, as a matter of fact. So let's see if he can 
So let's see if any, let's see if he or anybody else can pull off a win. The green flag, wait, the green, and we're underway at Wilkesboro. Trent Dunham trying to make a move to the inside of, of Charles Samper for the number one spot, and he'll takes and he'll t or number two spot rather, and he'll take the second position. And now Stanford in a battle with Kyle Matthews as Kev Shear leads the first lap of the race there. And Matthews, whoa! And Samper slams the door on Matthews, but Matthews is, is not having any of it. But it looks like he will as he as Samper goes by. As Shelton stuck up on the high side now as Dylan Young goes by. Now she's in a three-way situation between her, Dalton Day, and Joshua Osborne. Pair of orange cars uh, inside of a red car here at the Wilkesboro as whoa and Dalton Day getting very close to Shelton. And Shelton going backwards now as Joshua Collard now enters the fray as well as Levi McIntyre and Dylan Poteet. Battle that is a battle for the fifth position there. Osborne currently has it at the moment. And Kyle Matthews still working on the inside of Charles Sanford for the second spot. Jesse Turner having a great run here so far in this race as he is currently he currently sits right now 27th in the standings, but he is he's had some good runs, including a third the last time including a third the last time we was here, I believe in Western Auto Chevrolet, and that car runs very, very well here at Wilkesboro. The history of behind it with Daryl Waltrip. But um, uh, Turner right now having trouble getting around Jessica Shelton for position. That is for 10th place, and Shelton swings, uh, has that car swung high, and now Turner's still trying to get around, and it's Seth Cole trying to figure out who to go with. On board Seth Cole's car. And finally he pushes Jesse Turner ahead of Jessica Shelton as Seth right now riding in last time by in 13th position. We'll see where he's clucking this time by. Now he goes toe to toe with Shelton. Seth currently clocked in the 12th position at the moment. Winner this season at the 500 mile in Charlotte a couple of races ago. You see how high they're turning the RPMs are almost about as high as we saw at Martinsville, about 9,200 RPMs. And, but see right there, down to about 6,800. Whoa! And Seth really winding up to about 9,600 at, uh, at Wilkesboro. Back to the leaders, it is still Trent, no, it's still Kev Shear out in front. He's pulled out to a very substantial lead right now over Trent Dunham in second position. This will be a good point save for Trent if he can pull off or maybe possibly if he can possibly close back up and win this race. Trent was the winner of the Southern 500 at Darlington this season. Charles Sanford running in third position. He's a three-time winner this season at Sonoma, Kentucky, and also at the Night Race at Bristol this season. So, Charles having a whole lot better season this season than he was last season when he had the Duke NASCAR 2000 scheme with the Gen 6 cars. And you know, Charles had some good runs with it, but overall 26 in the standings last season, and now uh, trying to get himself back in the championship contention. And with Shelton sliding back, this, could, this should help Charles a little bit in the points chase, and same with Kyle Matthews, who runs third right now at the moment. He dropped the fifth in the standings after a disastrous outing at Martinsville. And you remember the last time he was at Wilkes Wilkesboro, Matthews finished dead last in the race. And but this season, they obviously have done some monster changes to that to that Pontiac, and they went to the trusty Meliella scheme and has worked very, very well this this race here so far. And a battle for fourth place and a battle for fifth place going on between Dylan Young as he's gotten around Joshua Osborne for fifth. Joshua dropping the sixth position at the moment in the tied four. A pair of Fords going at it. 
One for Penske Racing South and one for Rudd Performance Motorsports. Joshua Collard right now running in seventh position in the Richard Petty colors, battling with uh, Dalton Day and Dylan Poteet for position. That is seventh, eighth, and ninth, and Levi McIntyre for Rockin' Wrestling Racing running in tenth spot. So some guys uh, trying to get himself back up in the at least top ten points contention here. Dalton Day, on the other hand, though, he's got a long way to go if he goes back to the top 10 position on the points chase. There, Dalton right now sits 38th in the standing, so uh, he, he had a, and he did have a good run at Martinsville, and of course, not to mention his highlight was the win at Texas and that crazy finish over there. Eleventh place, Jesse Turner. Jessica Shelton dropping the twelfth spot at the moment, though, so it could have been worse after after starting up after going way up on the high side early in the event. Thirteenth is Ryan George. Fourteenth, Seth Cole. Fifteenth position, Zach Rogers. Rogers hanging or just trying to get himself back in the top ten of the point chase. His children's teammate, Corey Williams, running in sixteenth position. Seventeenth, William Bedford, two-time winner this season. Johnny Gardner running in 18th at the moment in the Texaco Havlin Ford, and he is currently 8th in the standings coming in. Andrew Perry running in 19th position, the sensation behind that 5 car. The 5 car's resurgence, I might add. He finished uh, top 5 at Martinsville, the last stop in the tour. And running just ahead of this man, Zach Flickinger, who won that race at Martinsville, the Skull Bandit Chevrolet in the Harry Gant colors. Runs right now in 20th position, and he made his way up to the third spot in the point chase. And I, I might add also, I said he was four points ahead of Collard. He was also four behind Charles Sanford for second place in the points. So he almost took second in the standings <coughs> after Sanford had his bad outing at Martinsville. But, but right now things not going so well for Flickinger as it did at Martinsville, though. And it looks like the points he gained, he might lose a few here, at, at possibly. Unless he can move his way back up through the field there. There's JT Bryant, 21st position in the all tell Dodge. Marty Johnson, the Daytona 500 champ, running in 12th or 22nd position. Matt Dalio getting around Nicholas Romero for position, or trying to get around Nicholas Romero for position in the Martin Martin colors. Dalio right now running in 24th. Romero runs 23rd. And Dalio's gotten around Romero for position. Dalio had shot his way up to 16th in the standings coming in to this race after a good run at Martinsville. Cooper Siron, the winner of the first Darlington event, is one of the surprise winners this season. Along with Romero, there's Chris Dodd in the Kodak colors, and he is sliding back. As Zach Austin tries to get around him for position, there he is in the Smoking Joe's Ford. <clears throat> Ryan Madden, another surprise winner in the 71 car, running right behind Levi Shones. Madden was the winner of the Amp Energy 500 at Talladega this season, uh, and that track has produced some very has, has produced some surprise winners, I might add. And we already seen that Kev Shears come up with some lap traffic though, right there, with the, in the form of William Brock and Zachary Fitzwater. Fitzwater running in 40 position, Sheer, that may be the best thing he, he he could have right here is have lap traffic ahead. He has already got a whopping lead for somehow with uh, just over four seconds over, over Trent Dunham. And Trent's pulled away a little bit, uh, as a matter of fact, from third place Charles Sanford. Now Kyle Matthews now falling in the pressure of now under pressure from Dylan Young and Joshua Osborne are here for position. Matthews running in fourth spot. Fifth is Dylan Young. Sixth is still Osborne. Front ten car single file at the moment though. Culminating also with Dalton Day in 8th spot, 9th, Poteet in 10th is still um, Levi McIntyre. Jessica Shelton getting, and finally getting around the car of Jesse Turner for 11th position. 
on board Jessica Shelton's car. Shelton running had a, having a solid run here today. She actually had a solid run the last time we were at Wilkesboro finishing in seventh position. Driving the, uh, of course, the familiar Bill Elliott colors that she has been well known for, either a Bill Elliott car or a Chase Elliott car, whoever, but but she is, but those cars have, have served her very well in, in our competition for sure. Jesse Turner, as, as again, as I said, a solid run for him, running in 12th spot at the moment in the Western Auto Chevrolet. So we are already down to less than 10 laps to go. Here at North Wilkesboro, there's the battle here. Charles Simmer is closed up on the car of Trent Dunham for position. Trent driving for Sega Motorsports in the number one Jamie McMurray colors. Love car a lot of the Chevrolets in the field are the Monte Carlos, but Trent's the only Impala in the field. And Trent said, of course, that, according to Trent, that he likes the Impala scheme better than he does any Chevrolet scheme, or Chevrolet body style, I should say, excuse me. Trent, uh, and by contrast, Seth Cole's the only Chevy SS in the field, by the way. A lot of the other Chevys are Monte Carlo bodies. Just like what we see right here with Jeremy Jones, this car in the 18, battling with Quentin Moore. But this man, Kev Shearer, has got it all in hand. If nothing happens, though, that 32 car, which has been known to do, but... He, Shearer is possibly four laps away from victory in the, here at North Wilkesboro. Trying to get through lap traffic, in which so far he has been able to do so with ease at the moment. Getting around Talladega winner Ryan Madden in the 71 car. Shear did move up though after his after in spite the disappointment of of not having a win at Martinsville. You know, but even though he did finish, I think, in the seventh position of that race, but he did move up to seventh in the points after the race at Martinsville, con considering that some of the drivers ahead of him had trouble in the, uh, ahead of him in the points had trouble at that race. And Shear's on his way to a big points harvest if he can hold on to uh, this race here, which uh, he should hold on, which he, hopefully for him, he can hold on in two more laps, a lap, a lap and a half now, so he'll see the white flag next time by getting uh, on the back bumper of Dallas McIntosh in the 8 Budweiser Chevrolet. And Shear right now sees the white flag. He has one lap remaining here at North Wilkesboro in the Tyson Hoy Farms 400. He is wanting a win so bad he cannot stand it any longer. <coughs> but finally, as he goes through the third and fourth turns, he is going to do it. The number 32 tied Pontiac rounds corner number four. And finally, he is a winner in the Castro GTX Cup Series. Kev Shearer wins the Tyson Hall Arms 400. Second position will go to Trent Dunham, I believe. Yes, it will. Charles Sanford finishes third. Fourth to Kyle Matthews, and Dylan Young holds off Joshua Osborne for fifth. Osborne was sixth position. Seventh was Joshua Collard. Eighth, Dalton Day. Ninth, Dylan Pote. And tenth was Levi McIntyre. <coughs> and a near log jam there on pit road, or coming to pit road. Average speed, 113.568 miles hour. A dominating win for Kev Shear from the pole to the podium here today. 11th, 11th position, point leader Jessica Shelton was 11th in the race here. Jesse Turner, 12th. 13th was Ryan George. Seth Cole finishes in 14th position. 15th was Zach Rogers. Johnny Gardner, 16th. 17th, Corey Williams. 18th, William Bedford. 19th was Andrew Perry as he holds off Zach Flickinger, the battle we showed you earlier in that race. 20th was J 21st, JT Bryant, 22nd, Marty Johnson, Matt Dalio, 23rd, Cooper Siron, 24th, 25th, Nicholas Romero, Zach Austin, Chris Dodd, and Levi Shones round out, round out the top 28. And disregard that retired from Dallas McIntosh. He did not uh, retire from this race. He did complete all 40 laps. But he does come home 29th in that race. There is, I think, one lap down. So 28 of the cars finished on the lead lap. Uh, Noah Cars comes home in 30th, 30th position, rather, excuse me. 
Ryan Madden, 31st, 32nd, Jeremy Jones, 33rd, Luis Hernandez, Stephanie Gardner, Joseph Romero, <coughs> Quentin Moore, John Arndt, Zachary Fitzwater, Michael Turner, William Brock, and James Richardson, who was who was tenth in the points chase. He ends up dead last in this race. So this race seems to be um, seems to bite seems to bite it's whoever random in the top ten. But but Richardson was the one who got the short end of the stick as the uh, top ten runners in the points chase. As he comes home last in the standing uh, in the race. But it could have been worse for Richardson. He could have been Matthews who came in the race the point later at the first Genian 400 and uh, finished last in that event, but fortunately for Matthews, that did not happen this time, but uh, anyway, that was the finishing order here today at Wilkesboro, and a long and good things, they say good things come to those who wait, and Kev Shear, heart all the waiting pays off as he takes home the victory here today in the Tyson Hogworms 400, his first of his career and first of the season, and, um, uh, yeah, as, we, as the season heads down for four races to go in the season, we will head to Rockingham for the for, for the AC Delco 400, the next stop on the tour. Then after that, will be at Phoenix, Homestead, and the, then the finale at Atlanta Motor Speedway. The old Atlanta, that is not the newer version of Atlanta, but we're going to be heading to the old Atlanta for the finale. And um, so... Season getting under nitty gritty here. The points cha the point standings will be um, distributed at the end of the video at the end of this video. So, so until then, this is James Qualls, and this has been a production of the CRA, celebrating five years of offline racing at its best. <laughs>